Okay, um, this is Daniel Ross, and I am filling in for James on this channel, Mini, The Many Shades of Gay. Um, he can't be here with us today, but oh well. The topic for today is, um, have you ever been unhappy due to the fact that you are gay, bisexual, transgendered, or what have you, and how do you deal with it? Obviously, the answer to the first part of the question is yes. Um, I'm gay, so I'm going to be saying this from a gay male's perspective, but... If you are gay, then you live in a world that is predominantly heterosexual, with so many things within our world, um, society, religion, um, healthcare, I mean, so many things are kind of in the favor of heterosexuals, and they don't recognize a lot of, they don't recognize gay people as equal to heterosexuals, or they don't, yeah, in a lot of cases, and they also... Every there's a lot of things. There are a lot of things in place that make it hard to be gay and you know have a normal life in the same way that a heterosexual would. I mean, for instance, you know, being in a committed relationship with a loved one or having a family. Things like this are much more difficult if you're gay and if it's two people of the same gender as opposed to um, two people of the opposite gender. And so you know, just the way the world is. Yeah, I get unhappy. And how do I deal with it? Well, for, on, on a lot of instances, you know, I kind of just have to be, you know, well, I'm going to be unhappy. I mean, it's a given. I mean, there's not so much I can do to prevent that from happening. Not just about being gay, but just about any number of other things. Um, so, you know, I just have to deal with being unhappy for a lot of instances. But there are times, of course, where it begins to get overwhelming where I begin to feel extraordinarily depressed or upset and I begin to really, you know, dislike having to live in this world and having to, you know, deal with all the shit that is existing everywhere. So what I tend to do is when it starts getting to the point to where I just really don't know if I can keep going forward, I just kind of take a break from the world, by which I mean I... I don't know, I'll read a book, I'll play video games, or I'll just hang out with a very close circle of friends, and I'll just try to forget about the world. I'll forget about the way the world is. I'll forget about the way the universe works. I'll forget about the, you know, the planet I was born on and the society I was born in. Um, I try to pretend that me being gay isn't a factor in anything and that it doesn't matter that I can just exist and I can be okay. I'll pretend I live in this sort of idealized world and I'll, you know, I'll be in this little area and I'll pretend that the rest of the world doesn't exist for a short amount of time. And it helps me recharge my battery. It helps me, it helps me, you know, um, recenter myself. It helps me feel better. And then once it's done, you know, then I have to go back to the real world and I, you know, I again face the adversity that I'm going to face, and I just have to, you know, take it and go on. Um, another thing I do is I try to keep in mind that there are other people in the world that have it much more difficult than I do. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this will work for everyone because, I mean, I don't know if someone's going to be watching this and they have a really, really, you know, they have it really, really hard. And so I don't know if it's easy for them to imagine people who have it harder than them. But for me, and I think most people, um, I'm still fairly privileged, even though I'm gay. And yeah, I mean, other worse things could could have happened to me by, you know, um, by circumstance of my birth, other than just being born gay. I mean, I could be blind. I could be deaf, I could be, um, you know, paralyzed from the neck down. You know, there, there are people like that in this world, and they have a much more difficult life than I do. So I, that kind of helps put it in perspective. I mean, you know, like I'll see videos of, you know, still starving children in Africa, and it's like, you know, I could have been born there. I could have been born in a very impoverished family in Africa that's starving to death, but I was lucky enough to be born here in the United States. It's, you know, and even just being gay, I mean, I'm gay in the United States, and I'm gay in the South, and it's true that there's a stigma here attached to being gay, and, you know, um, I don't enjoy the same legal protections or rights that I would if I were heterosexual, but 
even so, I could be gay in a part of the world that is much worse. I could be gay in the Middle East or in Africa, where I'd be in danger of losing my life all the time. There's still some danger of violence here and where I live, but it's not nearly as much so. Um, so, I don't know, I try to look, I guess, at the bright side of things. Try to have a little bit of perspective on that. Um, and those are generally the two things I do in order to try to, you know, get over my unhappiness for being gay. So, I hope you guys found that helpful, and alright. Um, love you all, and I have my own channel, and I'll... It's called Daniel Zero, and I haven't made videos in a while because I haven't had access to a camera, but I'll try to get back on that if I can. And I've loved sharing with all of you, so peace out.